G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the AK-5C. This is a weapon of Swedish design that has been made into a standalone weapon mod in Fallout 4. This weapon features custom meshes, textures, animations, and also lots of customization to it, which is going to be really cool to look at. So let's get into it. So first off, for the receivers here, we've got an admittedly low... Um, count of these, we'll chuck the calibrated powerful one on, and you may notice that there's no auto variance of these receivers, and that is because the fire control is actually on a different slot. Anyways, so getting into the barrels here, basically you can chuck out a longer barrel on there, and that'll give you a little bit more range, which is good, but we'll chuck on that long barrel because I think that is probably the one that's most worth it. Next for the stocks, we've got the no stock there, forward stock, which folds it to the side, or a standard stock there, which honestly looks the best, so we'll leave that as that. Now this is where it gets a little bit more convoluted, because uh, these modifications here, the electric, radiated, and surstroming mags, are actually obtained when you go and fetch quests for this uh, weapon. So this mod basically adds a bunch of magazines into the uh, Commonwealth, and you have to sort of pick the magazines or schematics up to actually unlock these three little things here. But what I want to do is just chuck on the dual mags, and that'll make our reload speed faster. There's obviously benefits to these, but I'm pretty sure they're self-explanatory. Next up for the sights, we've got iron sights here and glow variants for that, and you've got a couple of decent looking sights there, including a little scope there. Now, the scope itself doesn't actually give you any zoom, you've actually got another separate sort of a uh, thing for that, so if you want to get a have this zoom in like a reflex sight and that's perfectly acceptable but what I want to do is check on the glowing iron sights there I believe that looks the best with those and I like the iron sights on this weapon back in uh, Battlefield 4 when I used it there next up so we've got the uh, muzzle attachments here and obviously we're gonna stick a suppressor on that's what we always do there's no reason not to next up so we've got the co rail cover for here so that's just this little bit here and you can attach a laser sight or a flashlight on it or a tri laser which is kind of cool so we'll definitely do that and you can also ch chuck a sticker on the side here which I won't do but that's always an option there I think they look uh, none of them are really taking my interest so you know what I'll just leave that for now and you can actually change the laser color which is nice so let's change it to green excellent Next up, so you've got the uh, wrap here, or the wrap color, which is interesting, so you can change the color of this thing. We'll chuck on the black tape, because I think that looks cool. Next up, there's no bayonets on this weapon. Um, there's no customization options or magazines for you to pick up the bayonet, so I'm pretty sure that's just a uh, layover from maybe another weapon it was based on. Next up, we've got the uh, grips here, so you can have... Uh, no, nothing there, a cover there, or a standard grip, or a comfort grip, and that'll help you with, in, with uh, controlling Rico, which is good. And next up, you've got a damage modifier here, and you actually get an option from the mod when you install it, if you actually want to see that there. So if you're not seeing it there, you probably haven't activated it. And this is how you um, change the fire selector, and that actually moves that thing up and down, which is actually great attention to detail. And if you want to cover this thing in a lot of duct tape, which makes it look hideous, um, you can do that, and that it actually takes up a whole a whole lot of adhesive, which is absolutely terrible. Next up, again with the zoom levels here, we've got the standard zoom on this. You know what, we'll bump it up to 1.5, we'll get a little bit of zoom in with our irons, and that should be good. And you can actually change the skin of this. I've gone ahead and chucked on the uh, snow one here. I picked this one up when I was going through the Commonwealth, just picking up all the magazine upgrades and it looks pretty good and I think it's worth it in this time it's sort of a seasonal type of color here anyway that is it for the AK-5C this is how we'll have it in Gunners Plaza so let's quickly get to it alrighto so here we are in Gunners Plaza with our AK-5C and you're probably itching to see this go into action but before that we'll just take a look at this little Christmas themed uh, outfit here. This is the Santa's Little Helper. It's a standalone thing and it's like a grognak costume but instead of the uh, loincloth skirt thingy you've got just uh, shorts on the on the pants there so there you have it. Not too much to say about that other than that's just a cheeky little Christmas little um, apparel item there. So let's get into it. So we'll just take out this turret there and then we'll come around here and take out some of these alerted gunners. So we'll quickly take these dudes out, there we go. As you can tell there, 
Um, the recoil animation is kind of satisfying as it, the gun sort of rattles around, so it uh, makes it fun to shoot. And the, But the recoil in itself is... Oh man, this screen shake is terrible. The recoil in and of itself is actually um, super manageable. In fact, I'm pretty sure it pushes the muzzle down if you have all of the proper modifications to it, which is kind of weird. We'll get rid of these turrets quickly, hopefully. There we go, we'll have to jump up and shoot that one like that. And we'll get stuck into this legendary gunner here. Now in terms of damage, this thing is doing just fine. Um, I've seen more highly damaging weapons, but into... Oh, okay, you just shot to the door there. Interesting. Yeah, this thing is performing fine regardless, so um, I'm happy with its performance so far. The animations look really good as you're reloading the weapon. And in first person, the meshes and textures look really good too. So, uh, getting into sneak mode here, we'll just take out that gunner there, and we'll come around here and start knocking some more gunners off, being super sneaky. That extra 1.5 times zoom will definitely help us out during this bit. Um, the glow sights here are actually kind of cool. Like I said back in Fallout, and uh, not Fallout, Battlefield 4 days when I used to play that, I used to use this weapon, but... I like the iron sights on it, but obviously I quickly switched it out for a reflex sight when I finally unlocked one, but... Yeah, I, I really liked the irons on this weapon. It was one of the actual greatest weapon, uh, carbine weapons back in Fallout. Uh, keep saying Fallout in Battlefield 4 because, uh, I don't know, it just seemed to be the most uh, universally useful. You could use it at long range, you could use it at close range. So, in, uh, in that sort of way, it's sort of like that in Fallout 4 too. It does well in close quarters and the recoil on it is so manageable that you won't have any problems hitting anything beyond the reach of your regular sort of uh, automatic weapons like the combat rifle so that's really good we'll quickly get rid of these gunners now and whilst they are nice and tanky it's nice to just shoot them in the head a little bit and kill them the rate of fire on this weapon makes it actually kind of useful for some legendary effects that we may not may not get to use the uh, uh, use them in this but uh, this thing's power seems to be good enough on its own not to require use of a legendary effect but sometimes I like to push weapons a little bit more with uh, the legendary effects that are available in the base game. It makes uh, some great fun sometimes. So there you have it. That was the AK-5C in Gunners Plaza and doesn't it look brilliant? Absolutely beautiful job by the modder here to make this thing, uh, bring this thing to life in Fallout 4. Looks, looks, it's great. Anyway. There you go, that was it in Gunners Plaza. Obviously it performed well, I just said that throughout the entire slaughter there, so we'll move on to Swan now and see how it does with that. Alright, so there's Swan over there, he seems to have drawn a random encounter with a bunch of Milex, so hopefully he'll take out those things nice and quickly. Actually no, these things uh, actually sort of run away when they can't win a fight, so I think we might have to take him out ourselves, because if he's in his aggroed state, it'll make it very hard for us to actually uh, hit him with sneak attack criticals. There we go. There's one kill there. I think you finish off the other one. And there you have it. We'll just start hitting him with all of the sneak attack criticals we can and just backpedal away so we're nice and safe. And look at that damage. That is brilliant. AK-5C is absolutely shredding Swan here. And yeah, definitely how you want to run this weapon. But basically any weapon in this game is just uh, grind your sneak up as fast as you can get it and uh, make sure your sneak is as high as possible and just uh, sit back and uh, sneak attack critical things to death and uh, it'll do you uh, yeah, it'll do you well anyway that's it for all the monsters I reckon that'll probably be the same tactic I'd use three times which wouldn't be totally interesting so we'll move on to Quincy now and use this thing at longer ranges I reckon all right so here we are in Quincy and we've got this thing fitted with a big old goofy scope and a three times zoom to boot and we're going to be able to kill these gunners nice and easily so hopefully we don't have NPCs wandering to aggro all of the gunners but we'll just have to see I suppose anyway we've killed that gunner in there which usually cloaks which makes him hard to hit so we'll just go ahead and take out that guy now and he mutates instantly and is killed and I think today we'll go this way instead and try to kill these guys from down here I think that should be good Anyway, we've got two gunners there, we'll take both of these out, and there we go. So, on the ground level, we seem to be rather secure right now. We'll take out that one on the watchtower there, and who is that? Just a caravan guard. Well, you've picked a bad time to be in Gunners Plaza. Uh, Quincy, mate. 
because, yeah. For some reason, traders and shit like to walk through here, like, all the time. This is, like, some of the worst AI path thing ever, so I'm really not sure what Bethesda was doing with that. We'll go ahead and take out that legendary gunner with that. So I'm pretty sure we're being blind fired upon. But since we're super sneaky and invisible, we should be fine to just go ahead and keep killing these dudes from the shadows. Quickly take that one out with the use of a VAT to exploit there, I suppose. And yep, another Sultron Dominator. Must have cloaked because I can't hit it anymore. There it is. Uh, she's probably going to come this way, or it, I should say. It's a robot, not an actual woman. So we'll quickly backpedal a little bit before it staggers us and yep we're being fired upon by Mr. Rocket Launcher guy over there so we'll go ahead and return fire in the form of full auto spraying which is probably not what you'd do in real life but since this thing is so good with recoil I have no problems controlling it and I'm pretty sure it pushes the muzzle down at this point so there's no reason for me not to be able to hit these people at this range even while going full auto back into sneaky sneak and we'll quickly get the rest of these gunners killed and man this is actually not a bad place to hold out because they all sort of run at you you can get them killed nice and quickly indeed all right just that caravan guard i should probably knock her off so i stop activating her in vats which is kind of annoying but yep this turret gotta go and what have i got up here just a captain you know what i'm going to have a few criticals on your face And after a little bit of a game hiccup there, just stopped for a second, uh, finally got that critical in, and we're good for that. Anyway, so what we'll probably want to do here is go up and take out the commander. There's a turret that's usually here. Oh, it's a Mark V turret today. The gunners have been spending money on upgrading turrets, it would seem. Anyway, there's probably that pesky mine here. I'm going to friggin' activate you, and we'll get rid of you as soon as we can and there's another captain there we'll take him out and we'll leap over this bollard here I suppose and you can go next mate getting nice and dark now thanks to the weather mod I'm currently having everything's all nice and wintry too in time for Christmas if you're in the northern hemisphere at least it's still uh, the Australian summer down here so I'm sitting in front of a fan right now trying to keep cool ah looks like the gunner commander has picked up the power armor and he is hammering me with a rocket launcher but unfortunately for him I am too high a level to actually sort of uh, worry about any weapons like that if he had a fat man then maybe but he only would have had one shot at me with that and he probably wouldn't have done a lot so with that gunner dead I believe that is uh, Quincy cleared and that should give you around about a uh, clear and concise uh, picture of this thing's uh, performance obviously you're going to do very well with a suppressor like most automatic weapons and yeah a little bit of looting at the end of the video I don't need to do that but yeah we'll stand near this barrel because it's probably nice and warm yeah so basically this weapon is going to be great it performs spectacularly against monsters and people alike at close and long range too so yep in a way like I said before it's related to that in the in the Battlefield 4 sense, but uh, as uh, Bridget chills here, I think that's a good enough time to uh, close down this video. So if you'd like to see this weapon in your game, be sure to check out the description below. There shall be a link there. And if this thing is on Xbox One also, there shall be a link with that one too. This one is a relatively new one. It's still on the Nexus Hot Mod, so you've probably seen this there before, but there you have it. That was AK5C. Thank you for watching.